Let's say we're trying to figure out what two divided by one tenth is. So pause this video and see if you can have a go at that. All right, now there's a couple of ways that we could approach this. We could just try to think of everything in terms of tenths since we're dividing by one tenth. And so instead of two ones, we could rewrite that two as the same thing as 20 tenths, 20 tenths divided by, divided by, and I could rewrite this as one tenth. And so if you have 20 of something, and if you want to divide it into groups of one of that something, how many groups are you going to have? Well, you're going to have 20 groups. So this is going to be equal to 20. So that's interesting. Two divided by one tenth is equal to 20. Now, what if I were to take, I don't know, I'm just going to make up another number. Let's say if I were to take seven divided by, divided by one tenth. What is that going to be equal to? Well, same idea. Seven ones is the same thing as 70 tenths. And if I divide that by one tenth, well, 70 of something divided into groups of one of that something is going to be 70 equal groups. So this is going to be equal to 70. So seven divided by one tenth is equal to 70. Two divided by one tenth is equal to 20. You might notice a pattern. Now there's other ways that we could have approached this. We could have said something like two divided by one tenth is the same thing as two over one tenth. And I could write one tenth like that. And so when you divide by a fraction, that's the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. So this is the same thing as two times, two times 10. And then that pattern might be a little bit clearer, which is going to be equal to 20. When you divide by a tenth, it's the same thing as multiplying by 10. Same thing happened over here. When we divided by a tenth, it was the same thing as multiplying seven by 10 to get to 70. So what do you think is going to happen if we divide by a hundredth? So let's say I have six and I am going to, let me make that into a different color. So let's say I have six and I want to divide that by a hundredth. Pause this video and see if you can figure that out. Well, one way to approach it is we can express everything in terms of hundredths. So I really enjoy saying hundredths. Hundredths! <laughs> so six could be rewritten as each hole is equal to a hundred hundredths. So six holes or six ones is going to be equal to six hundred hundredths. So this is going to be equal to six hundred hundredths. Hundredths. And then that's going to be divided into equal groups of one hundredth. Hundredth. So if I have 600 of something and I'm dividing it into equal groups of one of that something, how many equal groups am I going to have? Well, I'm going to have 600 equal groups. Now another way that we could have, we could have approached this is we could have approached it with fractions. We could have said, hey, this thing is the same thing as six over one hundredth which I could express like this, which is equal to six times the reciprocal of one hundredth. So that's six times the reciprocal of one hundredth, which is one hundred over one, or we could just write that as one hundred, which once again gets us to six hundred. So maybe you're seeing a pattern again. When you divide by hundredth, that's equivalent to multiplying by 100. When you divide by a tenth, that's the equivalent as multiplying by 10. So I'll leave you there. I encourage you to think about that some.